The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Hi, I'm Kevin O'Flaherty. I hope you enjoy this Learn About Law video and podcast presented by O'Flaherty Law. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several locations for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Hi, this is Andrew with Learn About Law, and in this video, we'll discuss a trustee's responsibility and fiduciary duties, examples of breach of duties, and the possible remedies ordered by the court against the trustee. So when drafting a trust, uh, choosing the right trustee is a very important decision. This individual or entity will be tasked with following the responsibilities set forth in the trust. These responsibilities can be as simple as making sure the estate's assets are properly dispersed among the beneficiaries, or as complex as overseeing the continued financial success of stocks, assets, investments, etc. So the trustee is obligated to carry out the terms of the trust in good faith and to the best of her, his or her abilities within reason. If the trustee makes informed decisions, exercises caution when appropriate, follows the guidelines set forth in the trust, and takes his or her uh, fiduciary responsibilities seriously, it is unlikely that the trustee would be liable for breach of trust uh, however, every case is different, and if you, as a beneficiary, feel action needs to be brought against your trustee, or conversely, if you're a trustee who feels the legal action brought against you is erroneous, seeking the guidance of a qualified attorney is highly suggested. Uh, so how is one to know if there has been a breach of fiduciary responsibilities? Ultimately, it will be the court's decision if the case is brought to trial. Generally, a trustee's fiduciary duties can be simplified into three categories. Uh, duty of loyalty, the trustee must act solely in the interest of the beneficiaries. You've got duty of care, the trustee must manage the estate in accordance with the law and the guidelines set forth in the trust. Then you've got duty of impartiality, the trustee must treat all the beneficiaries equally. Many cases against a trustee are going to involve beneficiaries who feel the trust estate has lost value or not grown as anticipated. While there is a lot of room for interpretation, the trustee will usually not be held liable for losses if he or she exercised reasonable caution, skill, knowledge, and did not abuse his or her discretionary powers. A trustee cannot be considered insurance against poor market results, and making a reasonable mistake should not land a trustee in legal action. The distinction between an honest mistake and breach of trust is often determined by the expressed duties set forth in a trust. Again, a trust cannot read trustee X guarantees Y, returns on trust investments over Z period of time, but if there is a substantial decrease in the value of retained stocks and it was found that the trustee failed to attend stockholder meetings, perform adequate due diligence, or follow the value of said stocks on the stock market, the trustee may be held liable. A trustee may find herself liable if she violates an express or implied duty set forth in the trust, whether the violation was in good faith, bad faith, due negligence, forgetfulness, oversight, etc. The trustee is expected to know and understand what their duties are when accepting the trustee position. So what are the remedies for breach of uh, fiduciary duties? Well, first is going to be surcharges. So if the court finds the fiduciary that's a trustee guilty of breach of contract, he or she can be ordered to pay a surcharge for any uh, costs or damages to the estate, trust, fiduciary account, etc. The surcharges will fit into one of three categories. You've got reimbursing loss or depreciation in value due to breach of duties, reimbursing profit made by the trustee due to breach of duties, reimbursing profit that would have been made if not for the breach of duties, and then a surcharge can also be ordered by the court for any costs and fees associated with the breach of duties and the cost of uh, litigation incurred by the plaintiffs. That's typically going to be the beneficiaries. So second, uh, you've got um, fee denials. So fiduciaries often receive payment in the form of a percentage or profits or a flat fee for managing the trust investments and assuming fiduciary responsibility. If the trustee has breached their duties and the court then the court may order the fees denied over a given period or up to a certain amount, um, and the trustee will be barred from using any of the trust money to pay for attorney fees. Third, you're going to have potential removal of the trustee. So Illinois courts reserve the right to remove a trustee if a breach in fiduciary duties has taken place. 
However, there is no concrete set of parameters outlining what amount of breach constitutes the removal of the trustee. Illinois courts point to malfeasance as the deciding factor in trustee removal cases, but the degree of dishonesty and bad faith warranting removal is still going to be unclear. If the breach of duty involves theft from the trust and or wrongful conduct, there's a strong chance that the court will order the removal of the trustee. However, there have been cases in Illinois where significant mismanagement of the fiduciary account was enough to have the trustee removed. Uh, fifth, you're looking at potentially punitive damages. So extra punishment in the form of punitive, da punitive damages can be awarded by the court against trustees who show egregious behavior in the breach of duties, including malice, willfulness, wantonness, fraud, oppression, or gross negligence, or any other behavior which demonstrates an extreme disregard for the rights of others. Even if punitive damages are levied against the defendant, they are still required to pay any other surcharges ordered by the court. If you are a beneficiary and feel a breach of duties has occurred, the first step would be to speak to a qualified attorney. He or she can investigate your claim and better determine if a breach has actually taken place. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hi, Kevin O'Flaherty again from O'Flaherty Law. Hope you enjoyed our presentation of Learn About Law. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 630-324-6666. It's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. If you found this helpful, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.